Hi, and welcome back to my review of Giants Bobbleheads. Today, let's take a look at the Rodbeck Bobblehead. Uh, the one thing I've always had a complaint about this is the fact that his arm doesn't actually dangle like it should. Uh, Rodbeck was always standing in the mound with his arm uh, moving around kind of freely. I thought it would be really cool if we could figure out a way to make that happen. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about in terms of looking at his arm is that it's, it's fully a perfectly positioned to be just kind of cut off right here at the seam where his arm meets his shoulder right at the socket. It forms a pretty flat plane that I could just kind of cut and uh, the idea would be try to find something that could hook the uh, arm to the shoulder socket back in place so that when you kind of uh, jostle him a little bit his arm would dangle freely. Uh, and so I'm going to use my Dremel tool, a uh, good old one that I used from uh, making my Madison Bumgarner modification. I'm going to cut his arm off using the diamond tip blade here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. So we're back. Beck's amputation went uh, swimmingly, uh, and so his arm is now completely gone. I was able to sever that sucker clean off, a nice clean break. And uh, what I did was I went and grabbed my Dremel out of my tool case. You can find those at Home Depot pretty cheaply. Uh, I got my diamond cut off blade and I just kind of lightsabered and cauterized his arm clean off. And so now I will figure out how to get it back on. What I found while wandering through Home Depot was that you can get these things called screw eyes. This is a number 216 half inch and they look just like that. There's a little screw there. Uh, and for a buck, you can get eight of these, and they look like like that, see? And then if you hook two of them together, we're using a pair of pliers to kind of unwind one into the other, they look like that. And so if I can just figure out what to drill a hole into his arm, into his shoulder, I can make his arm dangle. So let's go do that. So I just made an earring, and so I hooked that into his arm. And it looks like a little earring, and I'm going to now attach the other side of this thing into a shoulder. Hey there, and we're back. So here's the final product after I attached the bottom part to his shoulder socket there. And uh, give it a wiggle. And uh, that's all I really wanted to do. I just wanted his arm to wiggle just a little bit. Just a little bit, you know? Just like the way he used to. Shooter sitting on the mound, standing there looking in for the sign. There's his little arm dangling off to the side pretty cool. In case, thanks for watching. Go Giants. Bye.